Hello and welcome to this Dr. Frost Dr. Maths video on estimating acceleration from a velocity time graph. Now what acceleration is, it's just the rate of change um, of speed or the rate of change of velocity. So it's the extent to which speed is changing. So if the speed is um, going up quite rapidly, then we're saying we're accelerating quite fast. And this idea of rate of change is very important, particularly if you get to A-level maths. But rate of change is just another way of saying gradient. So if we were to find the gradient of this speed time graph, so remember the gradient is the steepness of the graph at a particular point, that will give us the acceleration in this particular case. And this is summarised by this nice handy chart here, which says how we can work out kind of speed and acceleration, etc., from um, different types of graph. So if we have like a speed time graph, as we do here, and we found the gradient of that speed time graph, that would give us the acceleration. So let's do that with this example here. We want to estimate the acceleration of the bike at two seconds and six seconds. Now, because this is a curved graph, the gradient is constantly changing. So here, the gradient is quite shallow, but at this point, the gradient is quite steep, isn't it? And the way you find the gradient from a curved graph at a particular point is to draw a tangent to the graph. So we want to find the gradient um, at two seconds. So two seconds is here and we want to find the gradient of steepness graph at this particular point. So what we do is we get our ruler and we put the ruler such that the steepness of the ruler is the same as the steepness of the graph at this particular point. So can you see that it's roughly straight here and then what we do is we draw this line here. So I'm going to do it nice and bold. Right, so we've now got this line and we just have to find the gradient of this tangent, this particular line here. And the way we can do it is to just pick two points on this line, and then we know from other videos that we can find the gradient of the line by doing change in y over change in x. So let's say pick this point here, and let's say also pick uh, this point here. So we've got these two points on this tangent, this red tangent here, and we just need to do change in y over change in x. So let's actually read off these points first. So, so this point here is 1, 0. And this point here we'll say is uh, 3, 6.5. Now the acceleration is just the change in y over the change in x. In this particular case, the change in speed over the change in time. So what's the change in y? Well, to get from 0 to 6.5, that's a change of 6.5. And then we divide by the change in x, where we're going from 1 to 3, so that's a change of 2. And then we just do that division, and that gives us 3.75. And because acceleration, we need to put, make sure we put the right unit. And the unit is meters per second squared. So the gradient at this particular point here, and the duration is 3.75 meters per second squared. So that's part A. And now we need to do part B. We need to find acceleration at six seconds, so here. So let's do that again. We're going to draw the tangent when the time is six. So it's here, and we can see we can get the ruler pretty straight against a line here. So let's draw that line. And then again, we're going to pick two points on that line suitably far apart. So let's pick, say, uh, that point there, and let's pick this point here. So let's write the coordinates of those two points. The coordinate of this point is 4.57, and then the coordinate of this point is 8, 3.5. So we do the change in y, and we can see that to get from 7 to 3.5, it's going down by 3.5. And then that's over the change in x. Well, the x value is increasing by 4, so we get that. And if we do that on a calculator, that gives us uh, minus 0 0.875 meters per second squared. And we can see that the acceleration is negative here, and that's right, because it's decelerating, so the velocity is actually going down. So the rate of change is negative, the acceleration is negative.